So today, I have absolutely no idea what we're doing. Uh, Emily has something planned for us. She's had it planned for about a week now, but she won't tell me anything about it. Uh, I don't know if we're going to see something, or going to an event, or what we're doing. But right now, your guess is as good as mine. The only thing she told me, she told me to dress comfortably, and she told me to be ready by 11.30. And right now, it is... 12.04. Oops. So, uh, where are we going? I'm still in the dark, my phone's going off because my boss is texting me a lot. Um, so I'm still in the dark. I have some clues that to go off though. We got a basket back there and somewhere there's a, uh, a jug of sweet tea. Where is it? And now apparently we're going to KFC. Okay, so we got a giant thing of chicken to share. So this tells me, this is, I'm starting to piece things together. We got food and a jug of tea to share. But you don't know where we're going. Oh. Blurry! So I'm gonna rant about something. I don't ever rant in my vlogs. But something happened over at the restaurant that Kind of made me mad. So we ordered and we asked them if we could split the payment. Because we split the payment pretty much everywhere that we ever go. And they were nice enough to, you know, they were like, yeah, sure, that's fine. But he had to get the manager to come out to do it. Totally understandable. Totally fine. The lady in line next to us was slowly inching her way in like she was trying to push in front of me. I wasn't really saying anything because, I don't know, I didn't want to be rude and be like, excuse me, can you move? And then all of a sudden she looks at me as she like, kind of gets in my face, she goes, um, are y'all done? Can I place my order? And I was like, no, we're still paying. And she's like, oh. But like, she didn't move. And it just like really aggravated me. Move. If I was, if I was still standing there and I haven't handed my payment yet, why are you going to push your way in front of me? Just, like, be conscientious of what's going on around you. She's Whatever. Like, Move, bitch. I just had to... I just had to get that off my chest, and now I'm happy again. There's a fire over there. There's another fire up here. Oh, what is this? Is this more smoke up here? I think it is. This is like, this is like the fifth house that we've seen doing that. What, what, like, what is that? But they're not burning leaves. They're like burning the grass. Is that a thing? That's like literally the fifth house we've seen doing that. Oh, I just saw the sign. My only question is... Whoa. Okay. Somebody's house? If you didn't see the sign, it said Edisto Beach State Park. What? Cars park ahead on left. Yeah. I guess that means right here. What'd they say? If we want to go to the beach, you have to go back down this way. Go back on the highway and go left somewhere. What? Well. well, that was fun. Bye! <laughs> there we go. Head to Stowe Beach. Get my first place. Thank you. Hey. Hello. How are you all today? I'm good, how are you? Oh, yeah. Today is medium hazard. What does that mean? I don't know. So yeah, just in case you haven't put it together yet, we're having a KFC and tea picnic on the beach. Is it gonna get sandy? 
Like, are we I gonna get know. sand in our food? It doesn't look like it's very windy, so I don't. Sand in our chicken. Yeah, public Wi-Fi. All right. <laughs> the trees are pretty. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, look at my dorky sandals. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, we got our uh, towels set up and everything. Sitting on the beach. I kind of wish I had known we were coming to a beach though, because I am not in beach You're clothes fine. at all. <laughs> I am in jeans and a polo shirt. <laughs> not beach. <laughs> they're, they're clean. Yeah. It's like true country drinking sweet tea from a mason jar. Uh, what you doing? She crushed his eyes. All right, we got the sweet tea mason jar, the amazing KFC nutritional meal with my whole thing of macaroni and cheese <laughs> next to the beach and the guy fishing. And we got to Instagram the food, of course. It's a prerequisite to any picnic. <laughs> my phone froze. What are you doing? This is a good idea, babe. We have a guest, an uninvited guest, to our picnic. Oh yeah, we have straws in the room. I want to throw him a piece. No, don't throw him a piece. Biscuit. No, don't throw him a piece because then he'll like, he'll think we're gonna keep feeding him and he'll stay. Whatever. See, goodbye. Everybody wants to join our picnic. See, this is gonna make all of them. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Still coming closer. Hey. Every time we look away, he starts coming closer. <laughs> See, now they're gonna be like, oh, this is oh the place God. to go. <laughs> See, I told you it was a bad idea. Right over it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Alright, babe. I just found that <laughs> Don't poop on us. Sorry. <laughs> This is your fault. What'd you say? This is your fault. What? Oh, now they're doing it. Now they're throwing food. Runaway boogie board. That's a good picnic, babe. I already threw my trash away, but there's the aftermath. Oh, he's back. That was fun. That was a nice picnic. I just got out of the car. I think now we're gonna go check out the uh, back of that other place we were at. There was like some nature trails and you can like rent bikes. I think we're gonna go check that out and maybe rent some bikes as long as they're not too expensive. So a slight change of plans. We're not going to rent the bikes because it's a little bit pricey. Um, but we are just gonna like walk the trails. There's some geocaching out here so I think we'll probably hit some of those up. All right, so this is the beginning of the nature trail. And let's see, according to this map, we are here. And we wanna check out this Indian, uh, let's see, the top one, the earliest Native American shell mound, which is all the way on the other side of the island, right there. So, it's gonna be kind of a long walk. It's probably gonna suck not having the bikes, but we'll get some exercise. I look at the little tiny river. It's a very small river that stinks really bad. I think it's actually sewage. <laughs> We're looking at some geocaches. We're not gonna go past that one. I think we'll pass this one. So I think we can probably try and hit this one on the way. Follow the red arrow. You think something lives in there? You see anything? Talking to me. Hello, anybody home? Well, we're getting there. We were at 0.4 miles. Closer and closer, although now it's pointing that way. 
Look, we're getting to a bridge. Uh, huh, right. somehow we passed it. Uh, I think we gotta actually go into the wooded area. I bet I know where it is. I'm gonna find it before you. I found it. So the name of this cache is called, if it'll focus, the Stump Duck Hunt. I found the stump, and I found the duck. Tell me when you see it. Huh? Tell me when you see it. Oh well. <laughs> Open it up and get the log out. There's a little axe sticker in there. That's cool. Can you see it in the camera? That's cool. What's today? The reverse? Uh, yeah. Three, thirty-one. Cool. No. <laughs> All right, and then we'll leave them here for the next people. See you later, duck. If you guys have never gone geocaching before, you should. It's pretty fun, and they're everywhere. Like everywhere you go, there's geocaches to find. Look, there's a bunch of tadpoles. You see them on the camera? See them? Little baby frogs. Alright, gonna try another geocache. We're really close to this one. Okay, I'm like right near it. Oh, now it's saying it's that way. What the heck? Why? Found it? Yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Is it heavy? No. Special jewel cash. How do you open it? <laughs> cool! Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but don't eat it. <laughs> cool! Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but don't eat it. <laughs> Get a motorcycle. I had one of these as a kid, I think. Really? Yeah, I think. If it's the same thing that I'm thinking of. What is that? What is this? It's probably the signing thing. Oh, you can write notes. I wish we had something to leave. Hi. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wouldn't take that. Look, exactly two years ago. That's weird. Can you see it? Yeah. Cool. Those two. Carry back up the leaves. Cool. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. I didn't take it out the. Hold on. It's not really focused. Yeah. Cool. Here's a question hey. for people who are smarter than me. We're out here in the middle of the trail. I mean, there's a marsh that way, but the like the ocean is way far away. So how are there seashells like on the side of the trail? And there's not just one, I mean, there's like a million of them that we're passing. How's that happen? I'm legitimately curious. Hang on. Shh. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There's an ice cream truck coming from that direction. How? It's. We're in the middle of the woods. Maybe next to like 
the marsh over there and then nothing but woods that way. And there's an ice cream truck. Maybe it's like a ghost town with like a ghost ice cream truck. Also, I had to change cameras. I'm using my phone now because my camera died. We're almost to the Indian mound. You can pause the screen and read this. So basically, uh, if you didn't stop to read that, basically the area down here, it says it's eroded away, but this area was a place where Native Americans um, were found to like gather at because they found seashell, like oyster shells and um, bones of like rabbits and deer where they would eat but it said that like this area used to be you can't really see it on the phone it's kind of lame but this area was a lot bigger but in recent years it's been eroded yeah so basically they built that little structure there um, because all of this has been eroded away so the water comes up to like right there now which is why the thing we were standing on is right through there. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of history lesson for you. And now we're going to make the walk all the way back. <laughs> Which, how long were we walking out here? Two it took hours? us, no, it wasn't two it was hours. It was two hours. Yeah, it wasn't two hours. It was maybe about an hour or so to walk out here. I don't know. But now we get to go all the way back. We're almost there. It only took us like 30 minutes to walk back since we weren't stopping for geocaches and stuff. Yay, new battery! Back on the camera. And now I guess we're going back to the beach. That was cool. This is like a make your own milkshake sort of thing. Like you pick the flavor, put it in that little machine, and it sucked it up and did the whirring thing, and then it gave me the milkshake. And it's not the best milkshake in the world. Back on the beach. There's nowhere near as many people as there were before. And also, it's really cold. <laughs> it is not as warm as it was. It's after the sunset behind us. It's so beautiful. Well, that was short-lived. It is too cold to be out on the beach. We didn't even get to finish the sunset. <laughs> too cold. We're gonna get sick. Ugh. Hey, so it's another day. Uh, the dog's barking while I'm trying to talk, of course. Uh, but that was a fun trip. Uh, I had a lot of fun. It was a it's kind of a nice, like, surprise vacation, and I really miss vlogging like this. I'm gonna really try and get back into, like, the normal vlogging habit, because I miss it. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.